Why most strategies are pointless. Hello, my name is Volkmar Völzke, Success Maximizer, and welcome to this video episode. Why most strategies are pointless. It's a little bit of a provocative statement, as usually from me. And wh what I see as strategies from companies, business, because that's one of my key core um, uh, areas where I'm going in with companies, uh, strategy, consulting and helping them with strategies and implementation, is uh, that most strategies that I see are sort of pointless. Of course, it's very provocative, at least not as useful as they should be. <clears throat> what do I mean by this? The thing is, a strategy needs to be something really to the future driven and not just making the, the present a bit better. That's not a strategy, that's a plan and that's completely different. And uh, a strategy needs, needs three basic ingredients that I hardly see to this extent in any strategy. Um, there are some, of course, I'm not saying, okay, every strategy is, is not working, um, but I see it not often enough. So number one, a strategy must have a very specific and strong vision, which is time bound. By the end of the decade, we send somebody to the moon and bring him safe, safely back to the earth or something like that. John F. Kennedy in 61. That is specifically a vision. That's where you want to be. In three years from now, we have <coughs> we are number one in the market and are the most attractive company to talent in our industry. <coughs> I'm making it now spontaneously. That would be something like a strong vision statement. And uh, it must be that specific and very ambitious. Otherwise, you don't need a strategy. You need a strategy to get to somewhere where you are not today and where you cannot just go with the same means as today. You need to invent something new. Uh, whatever it is, business models, products, you need to get new employees, a new team, whatever. Right? And, and this is very, very important. The one thing, if that's missing, you don't have a strategy. It's, it's not a strategy, it's a plan. Number two, you need to say who we want to become. So the self-image. So what is, uh, who is it that will drive this future business? Is it the same or is it another one? Is it another um, uh, mindset that we need to have? M maybe new behaviors that we need to have. How do we need to be developed? So we need to become somebody else, even as a team or a company. Our self-image is developing. Very important aspect, um, hardly addressed by any strategy, but for me, very important. So what kind of team are we in the future? What kind of, of <coughs> employees and what time, type, kind of leadership do we have in the future? And not only more people, maybe even less, but um, different. How do we think differently about success, about what we are doing? And number three, momentum. We need a momentum to execute a strategy. I see too many strategies that are just basically on paper and nobody's really working with them. A strategy needs momentum for execution, otherwise it's not a strategy. When you say, okay, this is our vision, this is how we need to develop to become, to become these, this team that is um, um, materializing this vision, and now let's get started. And not just saying, okay, let's see, sometimes maybe we start if we have time for that. That's very often, by the way, I see. We don't have time for strategy execution. Yeah, great. That's not a strategy. I think these topics might be obvious, but for many, I think they are not. So if you don't have a strong vision, if you don't have a strong definition of who you need to become, and if you don't have really strong execution, it's not a strategy. It's not worth talking about. It's a plan, which might be useful sometimes. Yeah, I'm not denying this. But it's not a strategy that we need from really developing the business. I hope that helps. A bit provocation for um, this time. And I'm seeing you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video again. And until then, each day, drive your success with passion.